Hey YouTube, um, it's your girl Jennifer coming to you from A Natural Generation. Um, this is the third time I'm trying to make this video. Um, but I have a new camcorder that I'm using this time. So I'm hoping that um, I won't have to redo it. The sound, like the camera that I was using was a digital camera. But it was made more for taking pictures than doing video. And so I would have to like scream. And the other two times that I tried to do this the sound was like extremely low so I'm hoping you know this time it's not so bad we'll see I guess um but I just uh this is going to be a quick review of three products that I have tried long enough now that I think I can give a good review of them two of them are by as I am and one of them is by design essentials um so I'm going to start with the one by design essentials because it's the one that I really I wouldn't buy it again so um I went to a hair show like in October yeah October of last year and um they um it was hosted by design essentials so they had all these um products that you could buy and you know they had they used them on, used them on the models and all that jazz so um I don't know I got suckered into buying two things um so the other thing is going to be a little while before I review it because I've only used it once and I'm, I like to use things at least twice before I say whether or not I like them, you know, like in two different ways. So the one that I am going to talk about today is the um, Design Essentials Natural Curl Stretching Cream. It looks like, huh, looks like this. Alright. And... It is petroleum free, mineral oil free, paraffin free, silicone free, um, and fragrance free. Paraben and paraffin free, sorry. Um, and this is what it says. Um, this natural curl stretching cream is a moisturizing cream with almond butter and soy that smooths and conditions highly textured hair while adding weight, creating beautiful frizz control curls with excellent moisture, hold, and shine. Best for curly to tightly coiled textures, which obviously I am um, and the directions say to apply, apply generously to clean damp hair from roots to end using sections comb twist or finger style as desired and then air dry diffuse or sit under a hooded dryer to finish so first time I use this I use it on my twist um, it didn't it's supposed to weigh your hair down so that you know it doesn't shrink up quite it's supposed to keep it from shrinking so much it's supposed to be heavy enough to like make it hang down when I did my twist and they dried I don't know they seem to have shrunk to the same size that they always do I didn't really see a difference um I don't know I didn't see a difference and I use my um eco solid gel on top of whatever I use to condition my hair when I do my twist for the hold. Now, um, this says that it has good hold, but I, I didn't show you though. It's very thick. It is very, very thick. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, it kind of smells like Play-Doh. I don't know. It smells like Play-Doh to me, if you remember what Play-Doh smells like. But anyhow, um, I didn't really see a difference, and I didn't like the way my hair felt the next day. It wasn't hard, but it was stiff. And then I think there's a, a bit of a distinction. So yeah, it was more stiff than hard. But when I use my um, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, um, it's my hair is soft. You know, it it has hold, but it's still soft. And this just didn't make it. I don't know. So. I did it with my twist out. I didn't like it. I tried it with a wash and go that I did like last week. Um, I haven't done a wash and go in a really long time. Um, the last time I did a wash and go, my hair wasn't as long as it is. So I still don't think it made it hang too much lower. I don't know. Um, I think I may have some pictures from that wash and go. If I do, then I'll put them at the end of the video. Um, I don't know. This is like twenty dollars, which is very expensive to me. Um, I wouldn't buy it again because 
I think that my Curl Enhancing Smoothie does a better job, personally. So, um, I don't know. That's just how I feel about that. So, would not buy this again. Um, I'm going to, like, I'll probably use it a lot more in the summer when I wear more wash and goes. I actually only did that wash and go to use this and see what it would do because um I just don't it's it's too cool to like walk out of the house with my hair wet and I have a diffuser but I don't get up early enough in the morning to like diffuse my hair to make it dry before I walk outside so um I'm gonna use it because I bought it but um it probably won't be till the summer when I do more wash and go so that's that so the next two things were um are by as I am um and I'm going to start with the deep conditioner. Okay, so when I um, bleached my hair, like the front of my hair, I knew that I wanted to like really, really deep condition it because I knew, I know that bleach can be drying and I didn't want my hair to get all brittle and break off. So um, when I was in Sally's buying the bleach, I also wanted to buy another deep conditioner and I still use my um, organic root stimulator um, deep conditioner, but I wanted something a little stronger I guess um since I was bleaching my hair so um so I got this it's as I am hydration elation um intensive conditioner with coconut sugar cane green tea apple lemon vegetable glycerin shea butter and vitamin E it looks like this see that and it says Give your hair the loving care it deserves. Scheduled maintenance with this deep down hydrating and fortifying treatment is a must for strong, shiny, soft, springy coils and curls. Um, and let's see if you can, I've used it twice and it smells like, if you smell shea butter, it smells like shea butter to me. Yeah, it smells like shea butter, but that, that's what it looks like, you can see that. Um, yeah, it's very thick. You can see, it doesn't move at all. It's very thick. Um, and I put it like, you know, all over my head, put um, my plastic cap on, and then I use my heating cap, um, which <sighs> I said I was going to use it all the time when I bought it, but, um, no, <laughs> I get lazy and I'm don't feel like doing it but because I bleached my hair I was like I definitely need to put the heating cap on and I left that on for like an hour and when I tell you my hair was soft when I washed this out like like butter it was uh my hair felt so nice so this it's a little pricey this is like $15.99 and it's only eight ounces it's pretty small so um I plan to like, like as you, I don't know if you can see, but my roots are growing in. So, um, I am going to like bleach the roots in the front so that all of it will be red. Um, I probably, I haven't decided how long. I'll probably wait like every two months, maybe something like that. Because I don't want to be bleaching my hair too often. But I'm going to save this for when I bleach my hair because it's kind of pricey. Um, so yeah, but it is amazing. <sighs> So amazing. Love this stuff. Um, and the other thing about As I Am that I got is the Double Butter Cream Rich Daily Moisturizer. You can see that. This was... I don't know. I think this was... I think this was like $25. Pretty expensive. Um... And again, right after I bleached my hair, um, I was just so like, oh my God, my hair is going to get so dry and it's going to break off. So I wanted to, um, you know, I, I love my Curl Enhancing Smoothie and it's still my main go-to even after this. Um, but I just wanted something more moisturizing, if that makes sense, because I just really don't want my hair to get dry and brittle. So um, um, this says... Moisture is essential for great natural coils and curls when your hair feels a bit rough and dry and looks the and looks that way too. This is a jar to reach for. Double buttercream gets the job done. This fabulous favorite is a rich emulent 
emollients, I'm sorry, ha, huh. blend grace with the finest array of natural butters and organic oils. Um, and it says to add sparingly or liberally, depending on your hair's need for moisture, manageability, and vitality, rub within palms and scrunch into hair so that coils and curls are undisturbed. May also be used to set soft, luxurious twists and twist outs. So, I use it, um, the day that I did that, um, wash and go with that, I did scrunch some of this, um, at the ends because... That was the second way to use it. I did use it for my twist though. It was good. It wasn't bad. Um, I don't think it's better than the Curl Enhancing Smoothie personally. Um, I liked how my hair felt better with the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. So, meh. Um, again, bought it, so I'm gonna use it. Um, and it's it doesn't make my hair feel bad, so I don't have a problem using it. I just like how the Curl Enhancing Smoothie feels better and this also like everything that I've gotten from them has been like ridiculously thick like it's very thick right so and it's I mean it's very creamy you know um I will say this it soaked into my hair better like my curl hands smooth when I put it in sometimes you can still like it my hair just it takes a little while for stuff to soak in sometimes and my the curl hands and smoothie is that way okay it like sometimes I'll have like white you can see the white of it in my hair but it dries and you don't see it this goes like you don't even see it at all like it soaks right in so that's good I just like the end result of my curl hands and smoothie a little better if that makes sense so yeah, I, I wouldn't buy it again. One is two. I mean, like I said, it's like twenty-five dollars. It's a sixteen-ounce jar, true enough. But like seriously, it's curl. My curl that uh, Shea Moisture is like nine ninety-nine. I mean, you can't beat that. Um, and I used it twice. No, three times. And um, so you know, it's gonna last a while. And I will use it, like I said, because I bought it, and um, I'm gonna use it, but. It hasn't beat out the Curl Enhancing Smoothie for me. I still love my Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Probably always will. It's just awesome. Um, so, yeah. So that's it um, for those things. Um, I also got the um, co-washing conditioner from them. I haven't tried it. I'm going to try it today, Saturday. Um, and my water today is Sunday, so I will try it tomorrow. Um, because again, I'm just like overly um, anxious about my hair getting um, dry. So if I can like, you know, put out um, shampoo, which can be kind of harsh to your hair, or like kick my shampooing down to like once a month instead of once a week and use this. It's called co-washing. As I am co-washing cleanser, it's a conditioner, but it's a conditioner that's supposed to clean your hair without the suds and all of the um, the stuff that can be drying in shampoo. And I use a sulfate-free shampoo, but if I can just use a conditioner and my hair still feel clean, that would be awesome. So I bought that. I haven't tried it yet. I will review it when I do try it. And I also got the um, Jane Carter Solutions Nourish and Shine because. When I first started like YouTubing videos, when I decided to go natural, um, everybody talked about this, how amazing it is, it's so awesome, and blah blah blah. So, um, I've like tried it, I put a little, you know, um, on my edges today. I haven't tried it in a hairstyle, so I'll have to, um, get back to you guys on this too, but that's it. Hopefully this one you can hear and I won't have to shoot it again, because I don't know that I will shoot it again after three times, so, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I will be reviewing those other two things eventually, and I'm still trying to decide, like, what else I want to make videos about, I don't know yet, um, I gotta figure it out, so when I know, you guys will know, because you'll see the videos, if you have something that you would like for me to do or show, just leave it down below, or get at me on Facebook, because I post these to Facebook too, and I will do the best that I can if I can, and um, see what I can do. So I guess until next time, I'll, guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.